Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use lookup value function in Power BI. Most of us would have used VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel, but today let's try to do this in Power BI. As you can see here, I have created a sample data set for the purpose of this exam for this demo. You have brand and the market share of respective motorcycles. So let's see what's the sum, it's 100%. At the same time, let's see the sales volume. So these are in two different sheets. So I load this data into two separate tables, but I'm not gonna create a relationship between these two tables and then see if we can use a lookup value function and to get the res right results. Okay, so let me quickly load this data to Microsoft Excel, oh sorry, Power BI. As you can see here, I have loaded those two tables here. One is market share and the sales volume. And then I've created a matrix out of this. So I'm using the brand from the market share table and then the market share percentage from the market share table. So now what I want to do is use the lookup value function and get the number of units sold for each brand. I let let me try to simply drag and drop this unit sold here, but it it'll not be the right results. As you can see, it's all showing ten thousand. The total of all the brands combined together is ten thousand, but it's showing for each record, so which is incorrect. So let me remove it back, and then let me create a new formula here, new measure. And call it as example lookup equal to lookup value, result column name. So the result I need to get the unit sold. So I'll be using sales volume table unit sold, comma, search column name. I want to search the data in this particular table that is sales volume. So I'm looking for sales volume brand and search value. I need to search what is in the market share table. So I need to look for value for all the items in the market share table. So what I'll do is I'll use max function and then take the brand from market share brand and close the brackets or parentheses and hit enter. So now if I drag this and drop here, I'm getting the right results. As you can see here, 500, 300, 700. This is what we had in Microsoft Excel. So without linking or establishing the relationship between these two tables, I'm able to get the right results in this table. So this is how you can use the lookup value function combined with the max function. So this might come in handy in certain scenarios. Maybe if, when you don't want to combine these two tables because of certain reasons, maybe many to many relationship or something like that. But that's how you can use this function. This is a short video about this function. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.